The second section under portrait retouching is skin retouching. We're going to start here from the top and work our way down to the bottom. On this image here, we're going to start out with even with dodge and burn. What this is going to do is it's going to take some of the light areas of the skin and some of the dark areas of the skin and blend them together to a more even look. Let's just bring that up to 100 so you can see. It's our before and after. The next section is sculpt with dodge and burn. What this is going to do is sculpt the image to get of it a more 3D look. Underneath sculpt with dodge and burn, you're going to see two sections, facial features and facial contours. Let's start by bringing this all the way up to 100. I'm even going to bring these up to 100 as well so you can see more what they're doing. This is your before and after. Notice how it sculpted the face. How did it do that? It used two features, facial features and facial contours. I'm going to turn both of these off for now. The facial features deals with the inside of the face, kind of the bright areas. Kind of makes more of a defined look through the bright areas. Let's turn that all the way up. You can see the before and after. The facial contours does the opposite of the facial features. It takes the outside of the image and darkens it down a bit. This is the before and after. It can have somewhat of a slimming look to it. Now let's bring them both back up and just dial this into where you need it. For example, in this photo, maybe around 65. The facial contours down to around 40. This is before and after. And make sure sometimes when you're using these that you zoom out a bit and also look before and after. Underneath that section, you have textured smoothing. This is the original Dodge and Burn Evoto offered. The difference between even with Dodge and Burn and the textured smoothing is that textured smoothing is going to deal more with the textures in the skin. So let me bring this up to 100. You'll notice the area of texture around here and a little bit of difference in here, how they were affected. With the new one, it's just the light and dark areas. Notice how this little smile line here and this little smile line here is still there. Affected a little bit. Not as much as when you do texture. See how this area got more affected here. But of course you can always just use them together as well. The next area we have are the skin softening areas. Softened skin here deals with the face skin. It's the original face skin smoothing. If we turn this all the way up, you'll notice how the face gets a lot softer. This is the before and after. It does have a dodge and burn effect, but it's a little more softening everywhere. If I zoom in more, you'll see more of what it's doing. So everything gets very soft. A lot of the texture is coming out. With this photo here, I'm going to show you the body soften and a tip that you can use whenever you use anything in any of these sections. Let's soften the body skin. You'll notice how soft now this area is. Here's the before and after, before and after. And then look in this area by the right shoulder as well, how soft that got. Now, in this case, I don't like how this area got softened. I do like the softening on the left side, not on the right side of the image. With every section, you have a masking tuning tool. I'm going to select that, go to the negative. We're going to take this area out of the image. Hit OK. Now look at the before and after. You'll see that this area is still affected, and this area is no longer affected. The next section deals with skin texture. If you look at the skin texture section, you notice three control options. That's glossiness, texture, and clarity. Glossiness deals with, again, the bright areas of the face. Similar to the facial features, only in this case, you can bring it up and you can bring it down. It's just really affecting the bright areas only. So if you want her to look a little more glossy, you bring it to the right, but you can also reduce that glossiness by going to the left. 
So for example, here's the before and after, reducing the glossiness. Here's the before and after, raising up the glossiness. Underneath glossiness, you have texture. Texture deals with the small areas of the skin. So if I bring that up, you'll notice that some of the detail in the small areas of the skin came out. And you can also reduce that for a softening effect. Beneath that, we have clarity. Clarity deals with kind of the mid details of the skin. You also notice that it tends to make things look a little bit more in focus. So you can use that as a sharpening tool as well. You can use them both together and get a really sharpened image. So these sections here right below skin texture are just presets of these three controls. Dewey adds a lot of glossiness, takes out some of the texture, brings up a little bit of the clarity. Satin brings up the glossiness a little bit, increases the texture and the clarity. Matte is going to bring down the glossiness, increase the texture and the clarity. So the before and after of the matte, before and after of the satin, before and after of the dewy. And of course you can play with these after you're done to create any look you want. Next, we have the skin tone function. We're going to start with AI Unify face complexion. I'm going to hover over the question mark so you can see what it says. This function can address issues in the original image, such as uneven facial skin tone, redness, facial blemishes, and dark eye bags. Ultimately, it's going to analyze the face and blend everything into a more even look. Let's bring this up. There are two different Unify Body Complexion sections. The first one, AI Unify Body Complexion, is going to take the body skin and try to match all this to Unify with the face. Watch as I turn it up, how it becomes more unified with the face, the before and after. It also works to brighten up the skin a little bit if that's what you need. The Unify Body Complexion is going to unify the body to itself the same way the unified face complexion unified the face to itself. Here you'll notice when I turn this up, this area is going to kind of more match this area. But you'll notice this area actually isn't going to change much. See, I try to match this over to here, but it doesn't necessarily match the face as well. And as with anything in Voto, use it as needed and use as much or as little as you want. In this picture here, I like the AI Unify body complexion. So it blends with the face. Underneath those sections, we have select skin tones, which allows you to select different skin tones. And then once you pick something you might like, you can raise them up. Or in the case of this picture, let's say I just want her to have a little bit of this golden color that's coming out here. Just a tiny bit. Here's your before and after. Just under the select skin tone option, you also have a temperature option. It allows you to warm up or cool off the skin. Let's warm the skin up or cool it off. In a picture like this, I might actually cool the skin down a little bit before and after. The next section is skin radiance. What that does is it just increases the brightness on all of the skin. Rosy complexion actually changes the skin tone and adds a bit of a rosy color. I'm going to go all the way up so you can see what it does. Let me bring it down and then I'm going to just add a tiny bit to give her a little bit of more of a pinkish hue for and after. This is your before, this is your after. I'm going to go up more just so you can see it. 
before after. I use this a lot for newborns. Sometimes they're very pale. I also once had a model who was very pale and her skin actually photoed very yellow and she actually warned me about it. So I used the rosy complexion to fix her skin and she loved it. And that's it for your skin retouching section in Evoto. Put all this to great use, get out, take some pictures and make some amazing art.